21 years ago, uh, my little sister and I were getting ready to leave for college, and uh, I was a sophomore, and my sister was a freshman. Well, her and I were grew up um, very outspoken about being pro-life, and we're at all kinds of pro-life rallies and talking out against abortion. My sister got involved in a relationship with a boy um, in June. Of, of that year and she was getting ready to leave for college. She had a full ride scholarship to Point Loma and she knew that this guy was not the guy for her and so she broke it off with him. The day we were getting ready to leave for college, we were packed and ready to go and my sister wasn't feeling well and my mom was coming home from work and, and uh, my mom said, I just want you to go to the doctor. Um, I'll never forget, I, um, I was the only one home at the time and um, my sister pulled up and walked in the door and collapsed on the ground. And at the time, her and I were at odds. And so I kind of looked at her and said, well, what's your problem? And she looked at me and she said, I'm pregnant. And I'll, I'll never forget that moment. When you hear those words, even if it's not you, even if it's somebody else that you care about. I'll never forget thinking, oh God, could you just make this all go away? And what you don't realize is, is when you say those words, now 21 years later, I'm saying, could you just make my nephew Austin go away? But then you're in such a state of panic and it's such a state of fear. And the only thing that you can think about is a quick fix. How do we fix this? And I'll never forget just her and I in that moment. No one else knew. And um, even though we spoke out against abortion, it was almost like the Lord said, here you go. How are you going to handle this? What do you really believe in these moments? And um, my little sister was incredibly brave. My nephew is now 21 years old and a youth pastor in downtown Denver and just got married a couple months ago and is very pro-life, as you can well imagine. You know, the words, you are pregnant. You know, those are powerful words for women. And we have this incredible privilege of sitting down with a woman when she hears those words for the first time. And those words will truly take a woman down one road or another. And um, we get to be there in that moment. And that is what I love about what it is we do and the women that we get to serve.